Hi everyone! I hope that all of you are having absolutely wonderful um, holiday and uh, very Merry Christmas. It's, it's just right around the corner. I cannot believe how fast this month is going. Um, but I thought I'd do just a quick update on some Orchids in Bloom. Uh, this is a Brassia, um, I think it's called Orange Delight. The light is terrible. It seems dark, but actually it's extremely bright in here. This one has been in bloom for just a little bit. And uh, it's not the healthiest plant. Um, I got this one at, oh it's too dark, I got this one at Trader Joe's. It was in terrible shape. It was so dehydrated. I asked them for a discount on it, and of course they, they don't discount their orchids. Um, so, yeah, I got it anyway. It was only like $9. It was $8.99 plus tax. So I got it recovered and put out this beautiful spike. Um, this guy down here, oh my gosh, it's so dark. Is let's see if I can find the tag. It's pinky something. It's Wilsonera. Um, they are fairly large blooms. They're clustered together. I love the spots in the yellow and the edges. Is this like beautiful bright pink? There are two spikes. And this one I got on discount at a local nursery. Believe it or not, I actually got this for $5. This is first time blooming for me. So it's happy. And then back there is my microchip, another dendrobium. They're in bud. And this guy is the one that had the crazy spike. And um, well, some of the flowers are starting to go out. This is a no ID. This one is so pretty. It's just so delicate and pretty. No scent on these guys. I did have to um, kind of brace the spike a little bit because it was so heavy it was going to break the spike. I always feel bad sticking these in here. You know, you know you're hitting some roots. It, it's just kind of cringy. But it had to be done. And then over here is a twinkle. That smells so good. This is a red twinkle. And I'll film some of these when the light's better. Here's this guy still in bloom. And this guy is just opening. Yeah, I'll film those um, when the light's better. This is just opening. This is a big lip. And uh, first time blooming for me. Well, actually, no, second time. This guy I picked up at Trader Joe's. My daughter fell in love with this guy. It's a no ID. It's got big, beautiful, healthy bulbs, which you can hardly see because of the leaves, but it's in there. And this guy um, is absolutely awesome. I love these guys. They're almost like alien or something. And they have these, like, spots kind of in the middle. It's, um just going crazy. It smells so good. This is what it is. And um, it's got lots of roots. It's a happy little guy. It is getting some yellow leaves, but I think these are the older leaves. Um, the new leaves are still green looking good, but if any of you know why it's doing that, let me know. I don't know if it's like a deficiency or too much sun or too little sun. I did have to move it because where it was just not enough room for for all of these blooms. My cat loves this. He absolutely loves this guy. He'll start batting at the flowers. Yeah. I 
I can smell the scent from here. It's um it's hard to describe. It's um kind of like a a zygo type smell or scent. Yeah, it's it's kind of different. I love it. It's got more to come. I'm so so excited about this guy. It's blooming for me. I highly recommend this one. Um, this guy was not too difficult to get him to bloom. It just, I think the big thing is it, it needs that 40-50% humidity. And it does like to stay, not, not sopping wet, but it does like to stay moist. And it loves the uh, morning sun, morning direct sun. And this guy put out some more buds. This is a Noidy um, Pleuric. This guy. And oh gosh, I can't remember the name of this one. Uh, Redolence, I think. Um, smells like the Sherry Baby. My daughter found this one at Trader Joe's going crazy. And look at those healthy bulbs. Those healthy pseudo bulbs. And this guy over here is still crazy in bloom. Smells so good. I love these guys and it's got a new growth coming down there there's the spot the uh, cat had to throw up in the carpet this morning you know they always have to go on the carpet I have no idea why but it's like you know the cats have to go out of their way to get to the carpet and they'll throw up um oh gosh I can't remember the name of this guy but I found this little cutie at Trader Joe's and it's like exploding with pseudobulbs And then I'll try not to move too fast. This is a first time blooming for me. This is a Zygonesia, I think. Um, this was a No ID from Trader Joe's. And I've had this one for about a year now. And it's it loves the extra sun. It's just going nuts with extra sun. These smell so good. I absolutely love this color so so pretty so 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 pretty and this is let's see cocoa drop this Tulumnia. It's very, very cute. I love Tulumnias. It's so, so pretty. And of course, there's these guys. Psychopsis going strong. And I have some more in bloom, but they're, it's hard to film it because it's coming out dark, so I'll do another video on those guys. Love these guys. And this Catalea is when I picked up Trader Joe's, uh, I think about almost a year ago. And it put out some new growths, and unfortunately, the sheaths never produced anything. But this one did bloom. And when it first opened, it was this icky like green color. But then after 24 hours, it changed, and it got this kind of like pink veining, light pink color. The lip is yellow. There's a little bit of um, like darker pink purple there. It smells so good. And this one is called Triple Love. This guy is still going strong. Yeah, that guy is still... That's what that one is. Highly recommend it. I love the back of the flowers. They're pretty. And this guy is going crazy. Um, let's see what this guy is. This guy is. It has just keeps putting out. This one's fading. 
but it just keeps putting out more and more and more blooms. They are slightly scented. Yeah. And this guy here opened up. This is a Noidy. Put out two little blooms. And um, an update. Try not to move too fast or we get sick. On my Wine Delight that fell. Um, one of the gross. Um, got a wound, and uh, unfortunately I didn't catch it in time, so it festered, got infected, and yeah, it rotted. It was awful. You know, it gets that like mushy yellow, oh, it's awful, and it stank, and so I put cinnamon on it. Well, I got cut it off, put cinnamon. Um, the roots aren't looking too great. I let it get a little dry um, just to protect these when we think festering, but it's putting out, so hard to see because it's so dark, but it's putting out another spike. Now it is supposed to be dormant, and as you can see, it's just not wanting to do that. So I'm watching it if it um, shows any more signs of stress or anything. I'm going to cut the spike and um, put it in a Maybe in a colder, darker environment or something to try and it gets pretty cold in here at night, but just to try and get it to kick over. So I'm watching that. And, um, oops, there goes one. Here's this little guy. This guy had a bunch of spikes, but he really likes gravity. He's very, very fond of gravity. Yeah, he likes to fall. So one has survived. <laughs> Yeah, but these guys are in bloom and it's just coming out so dark. So I'll do another video soon. Oh, there's another. Oh, sneak past my light here. Oh, there's another twinkle. A little cutie there doing his thing. Yeah, so I'll do another video soon. Um, sorry about that. Moving around there. I hope all of you are doing well. A very, 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 very happy holidays to all of you.